Treasure maps. We get them from all over the place in this game and they're mostly useless, aren't they? Well, not really. Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you why treasure maps aren't such a bad thing. I joke about it myself as well, but they're actually pretty useful. If we go to resources, we build up a massive amount of these things, and all they're good for, initially, we think, is basically to give access to the treasure hunt minigame in the games menu. This is a bit of a love-hate thing, treasure hunt. I actually don't mind it myself, but a lot of people really, really can't stand it. So what do you do with those massive excess of treasure maps? Because they just build up and we can't do anything with them, can we? Well, we can. They're actually, actually quite useful if we go to the Soul Forge over here and we look at the different things we can buy with various stuff. There is only one thing you can actually use as a crafting material towards something else and that is a rather good thing at the same time there's only literally only one thing we can use treasure maps to craft something from the soul forge with and it is vault keys very very handy indeed you can use your excess treasure maps to get vault keys but i'd be a little bit careful with this because like i for example could craft 154 vault keys if i like that is actually pretty nifty and a lot of people just do that straight away maybe without thinking about it but be careful because you do need Cursed Walnuts, I'll call them Cursed Walnuts, Cursed Runes officially, and Celestial Trait Stones to craft a Vault Key at the same time. And Celestials and the Cursed Walnuts are used for a great deal of other things. If we scroll down each thing, if we uh, take a look here, you need, if you craft normal clans, you need a few of the Walnuts. Um, for the medals, you need them as well. But yeah, you need them for a lot of other things, like a major orb of clans, you're going to need more Walnuts for that um, if they do a guild make gift you can need celestials and walnuts you need the celestials and walnuts for the forge scrolls if you go to weapons there's even certain weapons actually need a few of these like uh, the ruby macaque you need some celestials for that and the Arc arcanus's blade you need them for that as well so yeah even certain troops if you class craft a mythic you're going to need 10 celestials so basically what i'm saying is don't just go to here and think, oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that. I could craft an absolute ton of vault keys. Be, be careful, because if you need other stuff, including things like trait stones when you're crafting these major ones, or the, arcane, or the arcane ones, rather, you need two celestials every time you do that. So if you're still collecting them and need to craft them, then, yeah, keep hold of some celestials. Don't just go mad crafting as many vault keys as you possibly can. But yeah, that's a good thing to do, though. So um, if you need some more vault keys, if you're want to take your chance and get some of them and see if you get more gems and gold and other cool stuff then yeah use some of your stuff to craft more volkies using your much derided but actually rather handy treasure maps but there it is there's the video a quick one for today if you enjoyed it found it useful or helpful be a very cool of you if you bash that like and subscribe button it really does help most of all thanks for watching and feel free to share the video any way you like thanks for watching bye for now